Let's talk about what a client alliance is. A client alliance is nothing more than a set of agreements, non-verbally or verbally, that you make with your client. You either imply it to them that you're going to do certain things, or you say it written, or you say it verbally. But the problem with any one of these alliances, in any one of these categories, you have the potential for a complete miscommunication. So you may say something, they may hear another thing, and they will want something different, and at some point that's going to affect what you get paid or whether you keep the client, or whether they're a raving, raving cheerleader, or whether they're the, the opposite side of that, where they're really telling everybody they know never to deal with you. So how do you get rid of the miscommunications? One is, is that you have to have yourself a process of explaining exactly how you do your work. You have to communicate effectively how you, uh, you know, do things on an ongoing basis, what your responsibilities are, what their responsibilities are, and how that's going to work interactively together. If you don't have that, you're going to have problems. So if you ever think about the dating experience way back when, um, what happens in the dating experience is we all come to the table with expectations. So if it's like somebody's going to pay or so a certain person's going to arrive at a certain time or we're going to do a certain activity or there's certain things we do or do not do, we don't usually sit down and write out a contract when we do that. But we do have it in our mind and the minute there's a breach there, that ends the relationship. So if you have, uh, figure that you know, in your life in a, first, in a first dating scenario, the guy pays and, and uh, we go to a nice place and we do this and we do this and we do that, and then that's what you're, you know, you know, that's, you know, you've got a list in that kind of arrangement. If the other party to that doesn't believe that that's true, the minute that you kind of go through that expectation on yourself, what happens is the other side of the coin, gone. And the fact that you're making yourself 100% available to a client at all points in time tells them that you can do that. And when they, when they figure that they can do that, they now have established leadership over you, they will have a lesser value on you. So we have to manage their expectations. If you don't manage their expectations, you know, in Jesse's case, if they're expecting that, get, you know, that, that quick fix pill, I've had this back pain for about the last 35 years. They tell me it's terminal. But uh, Jesse, I want you to take tw you know, 25 minutes of your time and fix me for life. You know, you, we laugh at that, right? But there are people that actually believe that. They actually really believe those types of things. I want one fix, I want this. So we have to manage that expectation of well, what's going on, what your client process looks like, so it's all about the communication and the architecture around that. Without those things clearly identified, you're gonna lose clients. You're not gonna be able to you know, communicate effectively when it gets to the place where you're at the point where you're signing up the contract. You know, because I want to know in advance if somebody's got different expectations. If I get a gut instinct that the uh, expectation of that individual is different as a business coach, if I understand that they're expecting you know, the, the really big result or they're wanting that pie in the sky kind of result, and I know what they're up against because my client process will tell me where they are in the client process, and if they don't match up, I will tell them right off the bat and I will send them home for homework. I will not take them on as a client until they're ready. So if I'm interviewing for clients, I get to pick and choose who I want uh, to play with. I get to pick and choose you know, whether you're going to work with me, how you're going to work with me, when you're going to work with me, what the gains are, what the expectations are. All of those different things.